Greetings, curious viewers. Tool Tips with Tommy here. And I got some Bosch lasers I'm going to show you real quick. Just wanted to give you a little insight, a little info here on some line lasers and some plum or point lasers. So this is the uh, GCL2-160, and this is a what they call a combo laser or a combo level. So it uh, does your lines. You can kind of see there off to the left on the tub of towels. It's got your horizontal and vertical lines, and if I move it out here, you'll see it's got a little point down there right by the phone. I'm not holding it still, so it's blinking. There you go. So you got your little point, or your plum, plum point, one up and one down. So great for that plum reference as well as the line lasers. So um, this is kind of the opening price point for that uh, combo uh, laser. Really nice setup. Um, but if you're in the market for something like that, you should also consider the GLL 330 CG or the GLL 330. Um, top of the line, three point laser, really cool. Let's turn it on here. Um, you've got three planes, so it's like a light show in here when you turn it on. Really cool. I'll turn it all the way around so you can see. So you got plain, 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 three planes. Great for doing all of those references. One of the things that people don't know about this and they don't consider is that it actually works as a point laser as well. So you'll see I've got a little X on the ground there. Next to the laser, it's got a little red dot on it. That's because I have my point laser right there. And it's casting a point up on the ceiling right there. And you'll see that the, uh, the cross, where the planes cross, that, that, uh, that spot, corresponds with those two. Let's see, I'll put it right on there. So right there, it's now on that point. And if you look up. If I can get up there, up there. Let's see if I can zoom in even. Here, let me move that laser out of the way now. So you can see the lines hitting. So there you go. Those lines correspond and it works just like a plum would. So you got a point there and you got the point down here where it was intersecting. So you can use it as a plum with the three, because it's a three line laser, there's three corresponding crossover points and each one of them is perpendicular to the next. So you can use it as a, uh, as a point laser as well. So this is also a crossover or a co combo laser. You can use it as a plum or as a level laser. laser. A couple of things that you should know about it also, not only does it use the uh, 12 volt max battery, um, we also make the version that uses the double A's. So if you don't have, if you're not in the Bosch battery system, you can use the one with the double A's. Really nice. These are at about a $400 price point. They also use a um, one of the coin batteries or one of the little CR2032 batteries because it has a diagnostic unit inside and it runs diagnostic. So if the battery's not in, it's constantly running diagnostics. And it is a connected laser. So let's see, open the app, turn on the Bluetooth. See, it should hook up here in a second. Up oh, there, we're already hooked up. So um, you've got the, uh, the cal guard right here, which is, this is your uh, calibration. And you'll see that I just calibrated it today, 130, 2021. And then the next time it's gonna ask me to calibrate will be in a year, but it, uh, it will keep track of if it gets too hot because the, the heat will affect the diodes in the laser. So you want to keep them at room temperature or not get, don't let them get, you know, over like 105 degrees or 110 degrees. You don't want them to get too hot. Of course, you don't want to drop it or, you know, shock it. So it has a, a shock memory. Uh, and it'll, even if the battery's not in, as long as you have a good uh, coin battery in it and you drop it or something, it will uh, register that it's been dropped and it'll want you to recalibrate it to make sure it's accurate. Um, the, uh, the interval check, this is what it does every year. It'll tell you when to do it again. 
So I think I'm going to, there's going to ask me, yeah, so it's telling me to do it again uh, January 30th of 2022. But uh, really cool that it's calibrate, that you can do the calibration. You can also do the laser line control. So uh, lasers on, receiver modes on. Now we can turn the lasers off. And we can also do just the, uh, the horizontal, horizontal, vertical. We can do all three and do just the, uh, the vertical. So you can, you know, mix and max, mix and mash, how, mix and match however you like. And if you do have the green line receiver, you can actually, you can put it in receiver mode and now you can use the receiver, uh, to, you know, diagnose it and I, you know, figure out where the line is. If you can't see it really well, you can use a receiver with it. So really cool. Um, GLL 330, 330 CG. I can barely say that, but um, let's see. I want to turn that receiver mode off because uh, the receiver mode won't allow you to change the power setting. So that's another thing is you can change. You can turn it brighter, make, put it in maximum, regular mode and minimum mode if you want to extend the battery life of course put it in minimum mode so uh, you start it up regular mode is going to be the default setting it's always going to be in regular mode so really cool like i said really nice laser it's my favorite i wish i had a uh, more opportunities to use it I'm sure there's a lot more about it that uh, i haven't covered in this video but i just wanted to do a quick video and uh, show off the disco lights in my garage so here i'm gonna i'll Close the, turn the lights off. Now you can really see the lasers going crazy here. Ooh, I feel like a DJ. Bump, bump, jump, bump, 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 bump. I'm not a DJ, so I'm not really good at that. But once again, the GLL3 330CG, looking at about a $400 price point. Um, great laser. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.